central part of this ask that you would refrain from being on your phones during the ceremony. And we ask that you would just turn them off, no photos during the, uh, the wedding ceremony. couple that we came to celebrate today, Lord. We thank you so much for the beautiful day you've given us, all the ones that's came out. God, to just witness the special communion and the special bond that Alex and Hayden have for each other. We love you. We thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Who gives this bride away to be married to this man? You can be seated. Guys, before we get started, I want to, for you all to just take a moment. Take a moment and just breathe. I know you've had a hectic past couple of weeks, but I want you to just take a moment to take it in and print it in your memory, this special moment. Look around at the people that came out to celebrate you. All the ones you are special in their lives. Dearly beloved, we're gathered today in the sight of God to witness Hayden and Alex exchange wedding vows. The greatest gift, I believe, that God gave us is Jesus Christ dying on the cross for our sins. But the second greatest gift 
is the gift of love, the gift of companionship, giving you someone that you can grow old with, someone that you can laugh with, someone you can cry with in the bad times. Proverbs 18, 22, it says, Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor with God. From this day on, you'll no longer be two, but one flesh in the sight of God. There's an excerpt called A Bridge Across Forever by Richard Bach that I was asked to read. It says, A soulmate is someone who has locks that fits our keys and keys to fix our locks. Fits our locks. Our truest selves step out and we can completely and honestly be who we are and not who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other no matter what else goes wrong around us. But that person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings and our sense of direction. When we're two balloons, uh, when we're two balloons and our direction is up, chances are we found the right person. Our soulmate is one who makes life come to life. Hayden, would you repeat after me? I, Hayden, take you out to be my wife. I, Hayden, take you out to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. Alex, would you repeat after me? I, Alex, take you, Hayden, to be my lawful wedded husband. I, Alex, take you, Hayden, to be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. May I have the rings? Hayden, you'll take the ring and slide it halfway up on her left hand ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I give you my heart. With this ring, I give you my heart. From this day forward, you shall not walk alone. With this day forward, you shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. My arms will be your home. I will honor you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I will honor you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You can slide it on. That's a good thing it won't come off ever, amen. <laughs> Alex, you'll do the same halfway on this ring finger. Repeat after me. With this ring, I give you my heart. With this ring, I give you my heart. From this day forward, you shall not walk alone. From this day forward, you shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. I will honor you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I will honor you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hayden, do you intend to take this woman whose hand you hold to be your lawful way of life? And to, do you pledge before God and man to love, honor, and protect her through sunshine and shadow alike, keeping yourselves unto her alone for as long as you both shall live? I do. And Alex, do you intend to take this man whose hand you hold to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And do you pledge before God and man to love, honor, and protect him through sunshine and shadow of life, keeping yourselves unto him alone for as long as you both shall live? I do. By the power that's vested in me by the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your brother.
like everybody to join them in reception to honor this uh, special day. Uh, the, the bridal party, they're going to take photos right now. Uh, so they have a cocktail uh, bar down there that they said you could enjoy until uh, the reception hall and the reception begins. We're going to go ahead and pray and bless the food. I know it's hectic when we get down there, and then we'll be dismissed. Our Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful ceremony. We thank you so much for this beautiful couple, God. I thank you for this day that you've given us, God, just for opening up the skies for this wonderful wedding. Lord, I, I, I just thank you so much for uh, the families that's came, the friends, all the ones that's came. God, I pray that Alex and Hayden would feel, God, uh, extra special on this day, God, and that you would just reign them with love. Bless their marriage, God. Bless them throughout the years. Bless the food that we're about to enjoy. And I pray that uh, you would just, just open up the floodgates of love today. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen.